My name is Robert Karimi and I call myself an experienced designer. I first started doing one-man shows, being Iranian Guatemalan. A lot of the work I did was about being in the in-between and always constantly negotiating my identity. These conversations about mixed culture were what people were doing as well. People wanted to talk about those things. As a performance artist, a performer, a director, a playwright, and I've been constantly wanting to create a platform to get the audience to participate. Food gives us a table to meet at. If I tell you, come to my play, someone has to think a little one to two steps about that. But there's food on the other side of that? Let's go. The name of this residency is called Viva La Cook. This whole idea of Viva means long live. Viva La Cook. Long live the cook. To give honor to all the cooks in Charlotte, but to honor the concept of creating Great things. Job. And also to honor your culture. Chef, chef, what do you say in Japanese when it's the chef's choice? Omakase. Oh my god, it's so good. Oh this residency god. was more about how to get people to participate as much as possible. So I created the character of Mero Cocinero. He's like the friendly neighborhood cook. The ultra idealist, the one that wants to do right by everybody through food. And he also is the way I interact with people to get people to do things for themselves. And that's why the project is known as the People's Cook Project. It's all about everyone becoming the cook of the people themselves and really engaging in conversations with each other about food, but also what nourishes them. What I love is the intergenerational cross-cultural dialogue around food. Because for me, that's what that's my life. That's what my, my whole trajectory has been as an artist. I'm never sitting in one spot, I'm in the in-between. So why aren't we having these food discussions? Why aren't we talking about health and nourishment in our communities in the same way? Why are we creating silos? I really believe that people aren't expecting somebody to interact with them in character with the sole purpose of listening. A lot of my work is about listening and getting people to listen to each other. They don't necessarily have to be directly involved in the experience, but informally they're getting information. And they might go, hey, hey, hey Sherry, I saw you, you, you know, talking with that crazy, what were you doing? Oh, he was talking about this. Wham! performance continues. And it just keeps on going. Because it's not just, for me as an artist, not just about the performance. It's about how you create a framework so taut that then others become the metal cocineros. The food was the overriding metaphor, but the food was not necessary. The people themselves were the main ingredient. We've got everything we need right here. We've got you, 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 full of good energy, together, cooking together, and eating together. Are you with me? Yes!